fact, Robinhood raised an additional $2.4 billion from shareholders following last week's day trading frenzy. Investors have pumped over $3 billion into the platform so far in order to protect from further surges in trading. Your reaction to all of this, Ryan? Well, I think this is a reminder that Wall Street is ordinary people trying to do extraordinary things, except for me and Dennis Garvin, that is. Um, and I think the reason is here, I mean, look at these, these hedge fund managers, and they just can't get it right. If you look at their performance for the last decade, I mean, they've averaged about 1.1 percent a year. So this is just a series of bad decisions they've made about their trading. And I would even argue here that these Reddit traders actually use some fundamental, good old-fashioned fundamental investing when they actually inv invested in this trade. I mean, if you look back when the stock was trading at like $2.40, we all knew it was a defunct company. You know, we knew it's the blockbuster of, of gaming at that time. And basically, you know, everyone on the street knew that. And, you know, the market's efficient, right? The reason that the market traded uh, the stock down like 90 percent is because it wasn't doing well. Meanwhile, all these hedge funds still plowed into that trade and shorted the stock. On the other side, you know, these Reddit traders were smart. They looked at, well, maybe this could be a turnaround. You had Ryan Cohen, the uh, co-founder of Chewy, put in like $76 million, which is worth $1.7 billion today. Not bad. Um, you know, looking at the fundamentals and saying this could turn around. So I think the bottom line here is, you know, when you look at it, these Reddit traders were actually pretty smart. And Wall Street, these hedge fund managers specifically, uh, were just gambling again. But I think this speaks to a bigger issue, right? And one thing that we talked about every week and is the world right now is a wash in cash. If you look at money supply, it's up like 27 percent. That's the biggest increase in 40 years, Maria. That's so much money out there. And I think what you're starting to see here, and as a long-term investor like I am, is commodity prices are starting to go through the roof. Uh, Dennis Garvin talks about it every week. You know, if you put something that can land on your yeah. foot and it hurts, uh, it's huge. You know, oil prices are up to $55 a barrel this morning, or almost $55 a barrel this morning. So I think as an investor right now, you have to start thinking about what's inflation going to look like in my portfolio. So that inflation trade, like commodities are really important here, and profits are going to go through the roof the second half of the year. I mean, we're literally going to see like 70% yeah. increase in profits. So all that speaks to good time to diversify your money with all this cash out there and probably stay away from GameStop at this point. Just my intuition. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we've been talking a lot about inflation because we're looking at commodities from orange juice to uh, iron ore uh, to copper trade higher. And we are obviously seeing uh, 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 some inflation out there. But on your point about the free markets, that's what I mentioned earlier that Neil Kashkari said, and I totally agree with this. He says, if one group of speculators want to do battle with another group in the stock market, it's on them. Let the free markets run. Why are we getting all crazy putting new regulatory frameworks in place, having debates about more laws? Let the free market go. One group, if it's on them. They want to they want to trade up. Uh, they want to push something up and, and, and buy it and, and, and own it and lose money. Then that's that's capitalism. Let the hedge fund managers suffer here. I like it, Maria. Yeah, well, that's right. If they suffer or if anybody else suffers, that's you're making a bet.